here's how you put chapters into your YouTube video. It's actually quite simple. Basically, in the description of your YouTube video, somewhere in the description, it could be at the bottom, put zero colon zero zero, and then put like intro or whatever, how you, however you start the video. And then after that, you could just put another line break and put like, you know, one colon three zero and then whatever topic, meaning at one minute and 30 seconds, it changes to this other topic and it'll put whatever topic. Let me go ahead and show you what I mean here. I'm going to share my screen. All right. So I basically am going to put chapters underneath. Right now, you could see this YouTube video has no chapters. It's one single you know, red bar, right? There are, there are no chapters at all. So let me, let me do chapters by clicking edit video. And what I need to do here is to put those chapter uh, timestamps with topics anywhere in the video. It could be at the start, it could be at the bottom. I think I might as well put it at the bottom because it's it, it looks a little messy, right? It can look messy. And what I did was I used Google Gemini to actually, I basically say, hey, are you able to create chapter titles from the YouTube video along with correct timestamps for those chapters? I gave it the link to the video and it did. And I actually watched this. I actually went to these timestamps and it was accurate. And it's very smart because it starts with 0, .0, 0 colon 0, 0, which is what it needs, okay, to start the whole YouTube this is how it, you trigger YouTube to know that you're creating chapters. So I'm going to go and just copy this. And I mean, let me see if what Google Gemini gives me, this kind of format will work well for YouTube chapters. I haven't literally done this before. I'm going to put it in here. Okay. So see what it did. See what Google Gemini did was it, 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 gave, it gave me like, okay, basically this overall chapter with these sub chapters. All right. So it might confuse YouTube. Let's see if it, it confuses YouTube to have two 0.00s or zero colon zero zeros. So click save. Okay. I've saved it. Now I'm going to go to the video itself. Like I'm playing the video as a regular viewer and see, you see now you see all these segments. It did it. It did it. It did it. It did it. So let me see here zero. And you can see what the chapters are. Let me go ahead and zoom out here. You can see what the chapters are by underneath the video itself. There's these, there's now these topics at different, different places. If you click on the topics, it'll show you the chapters on the right-hand side. So uh, let me see here, zero. And then at 30 seconds, recognizing the problems at one minute and 30 anti-work movement. Okay. Let me see here. Zero, um, zero, introducing the speaker, uh, Zero, zero, 30, hold on a second. 30 seconds, recognizing the problems, right? Yes, exactly. The anti-work movement. So it's doing it correctly. So next one should be 205, the dangers of chasing money. Let's see here. Whoops, uh, where's the video? 205, why chasing financial freedom? Okay, so see, this is what happened. 205 to 520. So it basically disregarded, it disregarded all these sub chapters because it got confused. So this is why if you use Google Gemini to do this, you should you should remove the overall. I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to remove the overall ones. Okay, this was the see 205 to 520. This confused YouTube right there. So I'm going to remove that one because it remember this was the overall chapter and then it kind of Gemini gave me sub chapters. So I'm going to remove the overall chapter ones, the ones that had a lot a, a long see the 5 520 to 835. I'm remove that one. And then 835 to 1220, removing that one and removing this one and removing this one and removing, what else do I have to remove? This one. And I think that's it, right? Anyway, I'm, for the sake of the recording, I'm not going to comb over it too carefully right now. I click save. I'm going to go ahead and open the video up again. Basically, in the future, as people view my video, the chapters will be there. Let me see here. Okay, sometimes... Sometimes you have to wait because basically YouTube is processing all that information. It doesn't usually happen instantly because the chapter creation has to, it takes at least several minutes. So let, let me see while I'm recording this, whether it'll work or not. Ah, there it is. Okay. Again, underneath the, the video topics will show up now um, with the timestamp. So I'm going to click on the topic and the chapters will, will now be there and, and look. Yes. The ones, remember the sub chapters or whatever, it's all there now. So the nice thing about chapters on YouTube is that it does it does help with search engine optimization because all this data is going to Google and Google loves it when there are YouTube videos that have chapters because then it's able to point people to just particular chapters in the video. When people are searching Google, they might see, oh, check out this chapter of this YouTube video. And when they click on it, they'll jump directly, for example, to this one chapter and then they'll, they'll still be able to see your whole video, but it'll just jump to that one point. So I hope this is helpful. 
I want to thank Benoit Fouché um, for mentioning that the end times, uh, like you don't have to say 0.00-0.15 or whatever. You don't need that. You, you just need the start times for each chapter. That's all you need. Start time for each chapter, like minute, colon, seconds, two, two digit seconds, you know, one minute, you know, one, colon, two, zero or whatever, space, and then whatever the topic chapter, uh, the, the title of the chapter uh, should be.